What's up guys, Nature Girl 30 here, and the go-home shows have wrapped up and it is now time for the next pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. I won't lie about it, I was very skeptical about the direction that they were going to take, and I wasn't sure whether or not they were going to actually have a contract match. But they actually decided to keep it, which makes me really happy because it gives other people a chance to be a part of their program. But besides all that, we have two contract matches, a World Heavyweight Championship ladder match for the actual title, as well as having a regular uh, Money in the Bank contract match. We also have two other championship matches, as well as a few standalones. By the or guys, I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to turn out. So let's get started with this prediction audio. Well, guys, the pre-show is going to be a little different this year. Instead of a random feud that we have with Hornswoggle, pretty much over-the-top ridiculous, we are going to have Daniel Bryan break his silence about him losing the title. Now, they threw practically everything in the kitchen sink at this guy, and he literally cut straight through it and became triumphant in the very end. And unfortunately, with all that they've done, Kane pretty much took him out of commission, and he ended up losing his title because of that. I am kind of curious to hear what he has to say about it, especially the, of how they did it. But come on, let's be real here. Do you honestly believe that Daniel Bryan's going to have a moment to himself to be able to break his silence? No. We know that Stephanie's going to come out, rub it in his face. But I'm really, I really think that's going to be a really interesting pre-show, and I'm kind of interested to hear what he has to say. This next one was probably added on on SmackDown, or if it was added on Raw, I didn't pay attention. But this is pretty much all about Cody's new transformation into another gimmick, just like his brother Goldust. This is Goldust and Stardust versus Rybaxel. Now, I guess with Cody Rhodes' newfound transformation, they pretty much dominated uh, Rybaxel. And I guess it's embarrassing to them. I really don't find any interest in this match, but seeing Cody Rhodes as a new character is something new. I won't deny that. It is something new, something fresh, something interesting, but a little off because it just seems like Cody is trying to force himself to be the character. I don't know, but I will, I'm will. i not going to lie. He's a little bit more agile as well as less, I don't know, restrictive in some of his moves. I guess that that makes sense. But honestly, I'm kind of curious, but... It's all about who's going to win, so I will say that Rybaxel will lose this, and it'll be Goldust and Stardust for the win. Okay, we got the Battle of the Brutes, you guys, and I'm talking about Biggie Langston versus Alexander Rusev, or Rusev. Let's be real. We're gonna, Alana's going to probably be at his corner and somehow try to do something to distract, but let's be real. It's all about Rusev. But since Rusev's Russian, of course, well, he's actually Bulgarian, but lives in Russia. But regardless, he's foreign. So we all know the WWE is going to do this country versus this country, USA versus Russia. That's what it's going to be. It's the cold freaking war all over again with the outdated gimmicks all over again done in the worst possible way. They're trying to build up to be like a wannabe Rocky Balboa versus the Russian. But honestly, y'all, it ain't that way. Not in my opinion. But do I believe that Biggie E. Langston is going to be on top on this? No. Not any way, shape, or form. The only way that could be possible is if the U.S. Uh, the U.S. soccer team did well in, in the World Cup. And maybe they'll have him win that time if that happened. We all know what happened with the USA team. So we all know that there's no way on earth that Biggie E. Langston is going to win. It's going to be all about Rusev and Rusev domination. But I could be wrong. But... My choice goes to Rusev for the win. I will admit, this feud has kind of kind of made itself decent for the last few weeks. And honestly, it had a really decent build. Of course, it's when it comes to two women and a guy, you always gonna have a great feud. Like that's it's just a given. And I'm talking about Summer Rae versus Layla with Fandango as the guest referee. Honestly, y'all, I can smell this a mile away. And I really have a gut feeling that somehow these women are going to be become another tag team, probably a Lay Cool Squared or whatever, a Lay Cool Part Two, and they're going to screw Fandango, and then they're going to go off on their own, and Fandango is going to be left without a dancer. I don't know who's going to uh, actually replace him, uh, re replace Summer Rae, or replace Layla, but either or, it's going to be a pairing between the both of the two. But I really think it's going to be either be a draw. Or somehow Summer Rae is going to get on top of this. Seriously. It's going to either be Summer Rae or a draw. That's my prediction. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to talk about one of the championship matches of the night. We have three championship matches and three standalones. And honestly, y'all, I am curious about these standalones because some of them were pretty added on. And they were probably added on on SmackDown, but I didn't even know about it. But let's talk about the championship uh, tag team titles match. The Usos versus the Wyatt family. Pretty much Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Honestly, y'all, I'm rooting for the Wyatts. I'm sorry. I am rooting for Luke Harper and Eric Rowan because of one thing. If Bray Wyatt comes out to be the champion and they come out to be champions, they will be dominant. They'll be the most dominant psychotic heels in WWE right now, and I will be thrilled. I love the Usos. They are awesome. Don't get me wrong. But honestly, y'all, I'm rooting for the Wyatts. Wyatts for the win. Okay, guys, y'all know how I am with the Divas, and I am literally ecstatic about this match. This is the Divas Championship with man, Naomi versus Paige. I am excited about this. Two very athletic women going at it toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Hopefully, Cameron is not at her side, because if that's the case, Cameron's going to screw Naomi in a royal way. We know that the Funkadactyls may be breaking up soon. It is a given. They're probably going to go on their own singles turn. And honestly, about freaking time for Naomi. Because Cameron isn't all that great in the ring. She's a great, I mean, I don't know. She's a great valet, but she's not as great of a wrestler as Naomi. She's not horrible, but she needs work. And I really feel that somehow Cameron is going to screw Naomi out of the title. And Paige is going to retain. So Paige for the win via distraction or via screw screw job by Cameron. Guys, we have reached the main event of the night. The overall themes of this show, guys. I am excited about both of these matches, but before I talk about the championship match, let's talk about the contract ladder match, guys. They finally brought it back. I thought they weren't, but they brought it back. And I think it's going to be a really great match to watch because there's a lot in stake here. But let's talk about the, the actual participants in this match. We got RVD. We got Jack Swagger. We got Kofi Kingston. We got Dean Ambrose. We got Seth Rollins. And we also got Bad News Barrett. And guys, we also got Dolph Ziggler. The guy that everybody keeps saying that they underestimate. And I believe that they do. But this match is going to be so great to watch because everybody has something in stake. They really, really, really want that contract. And you know what would be really cool? If Bad News Bear will actually win. He is the IC Championship holder. It would be so cool to actually see him have not only his belt, but also his briefcase. This guy was way overdue to be champion a long time ago. But will they do it? I don't know. We all know how WWE are with foreigners. But honestly, y'all, I am excited about this match. We're going to see a lot of memorable moments, especially from Kofi Kingston. He always blows our mind every time. But do, but honestly, y'all, I don't see Seth Rollins doing it, and I don't see Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is going to make sure that it ain't Seth Rollins. And if Dean Ambrose wins, I will be shocked. But I'll be looking forward to it as, as well. But honestly, it's pretty much going to go to Dolph. Dolph really needs something. He's needed it for a very long time. It's going to be between Dolph and Bad News Barrett, in my opinion. I highly doubt that Jeff Swagger is even going to have a shot in the dark. But I really believe it's going to be either Dolph Ziggler or Bad News Barrett. I'm rooting for the both of them. Guys, we have reached the main event of the night, the game changer of the night. And the reason why I say it is this. Even if the person actually takes down the belts, there's no guarantee that they're going to keep it because the, the actual contract can be cashed in at any point in time of the night. So honestly, they can hold it for five seconds and then it'll be gone. Who knows? We have no idea what's going to happen tonight. But guys, we are now at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship ladder match. I'm looking forward to this. We got Kane, Sheamus, Del Rio, Cesaro, Roman Reigns, Cena, Orton, and Bray Wyatt. Guys, I am looking forward to this match. The reason why is because if the Wyatts, if 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 Rowan Harper win the tag team titles, that means Bray Wyatt is winning the belt. I want him to win the belt. People say, oh, it's too early. It's too early. Yeah. How many times have I heard that before? Oh, how many times have I heard that the streak was going to continue? Ha, gotcha there, huh? 
Nobody knows what's going to happen. There's a chance that Bray Wyatt might just take the titles as well as Rowan and Harper taking the titles, which makes them the most psychotic heels, the most dominant psychotic heels in WWE right now. And I am looking forward to that. So I didn't give a crap what anybody else says. I am rooting for Bray Wyatt. Sure, people complain that Cena may win. We don't know that, do we? No. So instead of people making an assumption that because Cena's there that they're going to win, don't make that assumption. I want Bray Wyatt to win. If Bray Wyatt wins, he will dominate everybody. So I'm going for Bray Wyatt for the win. Yeah, Bray Wyatt for the freaking win. Well, guys, these are my predictions for Sunday's Money in the Bank 2014. Stay tuned to my review. I will see y'all later. Nature Girl out. Peace.